We're here today to talk about the future of property development in Northern Ireland. Um, we have a number of um, key speakers lined up to talk about how we work, live and play in Northern Ireland and how things are changing and how the environment in Northern Ireland is changing to deal with changing expectations from the public and how we work. Today we've been talking about the changing uh, face of the workplace and looking at how we work now and how we might work in, in the future as well. And the, the workplace has really changed beyond all recognition over the last 50 or 70 years. And I think that's been driven by three things really. One is technology, which is affecting every facet of life, of course. Secondly is cost, and businesses constantly looking to get the best value from their offices. Um, but thirdly, and maybe more importantly these days, is also sort of the workforce that we have, the people that we employ. And for the first time ever, we've seen four generations of workers sharing the same space and rubbing alongside each other. I was talking about how we live, but in particular looking at the built-to-rent multifamily market. Uh, CBRE are currently tracking about £32 billion pounds of cash trying to access this market throughout the UK and Ireland. Uh, it's a very buoyant market. Uh, we're looking at the Belfast market, we're seeing a lot of investor developer interest and we're currently tracking about 1,500 bed spaces being promoted for build to rent in our market which is very positive going into 2020. So look, delighted to be involved today along with the other uh, panellists. So look, from uh, our perspective, we were looking at look, the, the typical funding structures uh, that we as a bank will look at whenever we're funding development, and that's right across office, residential, and some of the leisure sector as well. What are the key risks that we are looking to, to mitigate in order to support our customers? And then we looked at some of the case studies as well in terms of projects that we have funded. Um, uh, some of those projects like Erskine House, the Gallery on Dublin Road, um, Hampton by Hilton, and most recently the Premier Inn in Bangor. I've enlightened the audience today about the vibrancy of Belfast's hospitality industry, play in other words. I've hopefully um, let them know that Belfast is a shining example of what can be done in a small city. And when you compare us to cities in England, I think we punch well above our weight.